Gaucho's vlog. Hey guys, David here, coming to you from Roma. Just like one of the last places I thought it would be right now. And it's a long story, but I'll fill you in on some of it. I left Greece yesterday. Took the ferry over to Ancona, Italy. Um, and on the way, I met a girl from there. There was two Greek classes, and uh, she was in the other one. And I didn't even remember her, but she remembered me from the wine field trip we went on. And so uh, we kind of got together, and we're travel buddies, I guess. And uh, what's great about her is she actually studies in Italy, but is doing an overseas program in uh, Greece for the semester. So she speaks. Uh, Italian fluently. So, me and Veronica get to Ancona, and the original plan was to go to Ancona and go to the train station and get a ticket, and I wasn't able to before. I tried to online, and I don't know, maybe I was looking the wrong place, but it was I couldn't find where to do the tickets anywhere. And so, I figured I would just get the train tickets once I got to Ancona, up to Prague, which proved to be a big ordeal. I'd stop in you know, tons of different cities and layovers, and um, the worst part is it was going to be 244 euros, which is a ton of money, and I was not expecting the train to cost that much. And then later, Veronica informed me that what I just had done is taken a plane from Thessaloniki to like Munich or Berlin or something, and then take the train over to Prague, um, which, again, stupid American that I am, I didn't think of that. And so. Instead, I was thinking I would have to fly Thessaloniki straight to Prague, which was really expensive, and I didn't think to fly somewhere else and then take the bus over to Prague. So, we get to Ancona, find that out. Um, she's got a little bit before she gets her bus back to her uh, city that she's living in here in Italy. So we go online and book me a flight out of Rome to, to Prague um, the next day. So that would be tomorrow afternoon. And so I hopped on the train with her, because she was headed towards, towards Rome anyways. So I hopped on the train with her and uh, got down here in Rome about 9, no, 8, 8.45. It's about 9.45 now. And uh, didn't have a hostel or hotel or whatever. She gave me a few ideas and um, of where to go. And I've been to two hostels and about five hotels, and both hostels are closed out. And um, all the five hotels have been over 70 euros for a room so far. And the funny part about this whole thing is I came down to Rome hoping that it would be cheaper to come out here and fly because my plane ticket was only 122 euros and, you know, the train was like 10 euros or whatever. But if I end up getting like a 70 euro room, it'll actually be about the same and it would have been less hassle. But the good part about this, though, is that I will have a bed to sleep in the night because I didn't really sleep on the boat very much as you'll see here in a little bit. I'm going to do a flashback. And so I thought I'd fill you in before I know the end of my journey. Will I find a hostel or will I have to fork over 70 euros for a hotel room? Alright, stay tuned. I'm videotaping. Here I am with Veronica. Yeah, I've been taking videos just to, like remember stuff by. So this is where we are sleeping. Yes, it's our suite. We could have stayed in our chairs, but no. We want to see the sunrise, which it's like 12.30 right now, so now we'll be sure not to miss it. Yeah. It's pretty good. This was Veronica's idea. It's a very good idea. So we will go to sleep. <laughs> on the deck of the ship. Oh. Well, now I'm going to catch a train up to Prague. Here's the port city of Ancona. This is Veronica, the greatest girl ever. 
saved my life multiple times a day. <laughs> this this is a stupid American right here. And this is an awesome Polish girl. <laughs> half, half Italian. We have to understand. Half Italian. No, I'm not. I'm totally Polish. But you grew up here. So. Yeah. So now I'm headed to Rome. <laughs> Roma. You have to see three things. Colosseum. Yes. Fontana di Trevi and Piazza di Spagna. You have to swear. I will. And now I have it on video so I can know how to pronounce what you just said yeah. <laughs> when I get there. If not, I will hit you. You will hit me? Yeah. <laughs> David again and uh, I'm back on the streets and if you notice this time no luggage just me I found a place um, last time I talked to you I was looking uh, the one more hostel someone sent me and uh, it was full too that was the third hostel that was totally booked up tonight it's crazy there's so many uh, like high school groups and stuff here uh, and college kids too so the hostels were booked and so I was just like I just gotta bite the bullet and find a hotel so I went to about three hotels, and uh, they were about the same, 60, 65, and I really wanted to just get something 50 or under. And uh, finally I asked this guy at a restaurant that knew no English and had no idea what I was talking about, but he just kind of pointed to this hotel, and it was on like a third floor. And I was like, okay, whatever. So I went and took the elevator up to the third floor, and uh, by that time I was exhausted of carrying around my big bags. and. Um, I'm like, if this thing is even close to what I want, I'm just stopping here. And uh, I go up and the guy says, you know, he's got a room and 50 euros. So I'm like, sweet. Not, not the best. And like I said earlier, I think when it's all said and done, I'll be pretty close to the 224 euros that I was going to spend to take the train all the way to Prague. But in any case, um, I'll be getting to Prague about the same time I would have on the train and I get to have a bed to sleep in the night. So, if you look at it that way, I guess it's a good deal. Um, so I get to sleep instead of sitting on a train all night. But this has sure been a crazy day. And thank God for Veronica because I don't know where I'd be right now. Actually, I'd probably be on a train. But that would have sucked more than um, <laughs> going to Rome at 10 o'clock at night and trying to find a place to stay cheaply.